welcome back in the previous video we implemented the logout functionality so in this video we are continuing the process of clan site authentication and what we are going to do is that we are going to protect certain components from certain users one for example if a user is not logged in we will not allow the user to go to add income or this dashboard or profile and even if a user is logged in we want to protect some links from certain users so that's what is called protected route so how the logic is going to be remember that all these components are being rendered by react router dom right so in that case any route that matches is going to render so we need to implement our own logic to render the component instead of react router dom right we're going to do it in some way to tell react router dom to render certain component based on our logic but not based on his own logic right so to get it done let's try to render certain component so first let's go ahead and and create a route both for add income expenses and a profile in that case you better understand what i mean so let's head over to our project right let's head over to our project and let's go to client run in client file and then pages right so we can create one form for both creating the income and expenses right but i just want to make this project very simple to follow and if you understand it we can refactor this project based on your needs so let's move slowly and step by step in a normal way so let's create one file folder and call this one income page right and then let's create one more folder and let's call this one expense all right and then for expense let's render the form and remember i've already provided the, the template for adding income or expenses so what i'm going to do is that let's head over to a template as you can see we have add expense and we have add income form so let's copy this component and let's go to our pages and inside the oh pages income right yeah sorry expense so let's paste it here and then let's copy the income and then let's place it inside the income all right and then the last one gonna be the profile and already have the user folder so let's scroll down and let's look at the profile component you're gonna see how it looks like when we render it okay so now we have all the three components we want to work with in this video so let's close this ones for now and let's try to render that so where can we render let's go to our app and there we go so let's require all those so add income so like i said if the auto import is not working what we're going to do is that go back to the folder pages expenses and save it and income and then save again and users profile and save it because we want to auto import all of these so let me close this one to not make the page more clumsy okay so let's require the add income and this time around it worked oh no so add expense let's see it also didn't work oh so let's try again <laughs> or we can do it import manually but like the okay i didn't save it so add expense now it works auto import i have it add expense here next is add income so let's go to the page again and let me save it and this time around let me import add income also import it for me let's check it out where it is it is here the last thing gonna be the profile so let's save again 
sorry let's save again and let's render the profile is also here pages and profile okay so let's render those components so let's copy one of these routes paste it here and let's change this one to add income and the component render is called what add income and then let's render the add expense and remember you want to render what expense component if you are if you are if you are used to next js all this routing is being done for us automatically so next let's render the profile so let's copy this and then let's render the profile profile component right profile and the route gonna be profile okay we are done with that so let's check it out if it's gonna work automatically we see how this component there's nothing data here going on so let's head over to add expense so add expense it has been rendered perfect good let's render the income so add income and let's see it also rendered as you can see it uses the same field but different colors like i said we can make this one component and make it reusable but i want to make it pretty simple all right so let's click when i click on new expense you want to run that so when i click on new expense i've already implemented that so let me show you how i did it and i believe you guys know how to do it all what you need is to pass this link to react router dom link api so let's go to the public number to those who know how to do it so let's go to public sorry private number okay so components navigation and private number here we go as you can see for this i have two property so link to, to whatever you want to make sure you want to navigate to it passing here as add income right to make sure this this link exists inside your routing the same thing applies to the profile you see i have the profile here okay that's pretty much pretty much of it so let's come back to the real logic for this video and i'm proud to show you how i'm going to implement it okay so let me go over again so right now i have login right and when you log in for example we don't want a user to click on this link or go to profile page or even when I log out, let me show you. When I log out and I click on new income, you see, I still have it. When I click this one, I still have it. And that, that, that doesn't seem logic, right? Even though the person has not logged in, but the person can still navigate this component. Okay. So, like I said, we are going to implement our own logic to render this component in a different way than the default React Router DOM implementation. So, how are we going to do it? Let me show you okay so the logic is that we are not let me close this one let's go to the app here app yes this one as we can see here is react router that is rendering this you see we pass our component this component into this react router dom so in this case we are going to create our own version of react router dom and we're going to pass everything inside right so how can we do it so let's go to the navigation folder component and then here this navigation let's add one file and let's call this one protected route component protected route all right like this dot js okay so it's going to be a normal component so let's add some scaffold l a f c e and i have it so here now comes the logic any component that we want to protect we are going to pass that component 
to this component to render. So it is what is called high order function, HOC or high order component, high order component. We are going to pass another component through this component. So the component that we want to pass is what we want to render, right? And we can make our logic here to determine, hey, this route, render this component or that component. So to make our custom React Router route, first of all, let's require some components from React Router DOM. So from React Router DOM. And here we need route okay we need the route component that is rendering by default and we need redirect okay now we have these two details so now now comes the logic okay so instead of returning this div you're going to return the route from react router dom okay the route the first step okay so here, because this component is going to accept another component, we need to destructure that, okay, from here. Okay, so let's destructure that. And remember, if you pass a component to this component, we have as what? When you destructure it, we have it as what? Normal component, like this. But remember, all components in React are what? capitalize or start with what uppercase so we need to rename this component and with es6 we can quickly do it as component so for this one i have what just rename the component right cool so the next thing is that i want to spread the rest of the props right so dot 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 rest that from es6 okay so any component I pass in, I want to add all the other props as well. Okay. So here is that now on this route, I want to pass all other props to this. It simply means that we want to add all the props from React Water DOM to this component. For example, we have access to the history, the push and other stuff. That's all what this code is doing. All right, so the next thing is that on this route, we have what is called render, okay, render. So what, what do you want to render? So this render is equal to a function, right? And I want to render my custom component. So before it render, we pass in our anonymous function here. And here, before it render, we will determine which component to render. Right, so here we can say that hey, if a user is logging, then just go ahead and then render the components we pass in because this protected route we are going to pass in a component and this component represents this one, right? And you can go ahead and then render what the here. Let's go ahead and then render what the component as that. But with this, any component we're passing here is going to render because we are not making any conditioners here. So first, we're going to check if a user is what is logged in, right? And we can get that one, we can guess from use state, so use selector. So let's import the use selector from React Router, from React, sorry, from React Redux. So use selector. Selector use selector from React Redux. Okay, cool. So here, let's check if a user is login. So check if user is logged in. Okay, and we can guess const user login is equal to use selector. And I believe you can do this one to this point use selector all right then i pass in my cover function and i have access to my state and there on users i have my user of we did this one in the previous video so now i have the user login here so here before we render this one let's check 
okay so we see that if user is logged in okay then go ahead and render the component this component okay otherwise okay oh this one this carry braces ends here sorry this one okay <laughs> like this carry braces okay so otherwise what do i need hey, sorry let's move this one. it's a component do we okay otherwise it's good like this if user is login then render the component that we're passing into this component otherwise we can say now don't display anything but we want to let's say redirect the user to any component that you want let's say login page or whatever so instead of providing just none let's call our redirect okay and then this redirect we pass in a path that you want to redirect to so let's say redirect to login okay so to make it happen to have access to all the props that react right them give it to us we need to pass this props to to this component and we are done that is it so now let's make use of this one so let's go to our app now let's bring in the protected route so you can guess auto import bam i have it so let me show you the auto import is here cool all right so now instead of using the default react router route to render the component we're going to use our private route so here you just look at a component that you want to protect so here for example add income so instead of this one we're going to replace this one with what protected route okay and then i want to protect the add expense also also protected route I also want to protect the profile if i'm not logging in we cannot so protected route and that is it so with this let's check it out so users is not defined line number seven on protected route line number seven oh it's supposed to be state sorry so state dot users dot user off yeah all right so now i haven't logged in so if i try to click on new expense you see you say hey login if i try to go to new expense hey login but if i log in and i click on expense i have the form when i click on the income i have the form dashboard so this one too, we are going to protect and create our own protected admin route the same way we did for the the the, the other protected route right so i can give this one to, as a challenge to do it all right so now our client side authentication is working perfectly as we are expecting okay so the next video we are going to work on the ad expense and add income action.